Are you sick of making a build and then opening up the game to find that some scene has been broken, yet you can't actually remember the last time you actually touched that scene? Well, in this video, I will introduce you to a project-wide build validation method, a no-nonsense way of checking the validity of your scenes. Let's jump into a totally made up scenario that of course has never ever happened to me. Honest. Now, in this scene, monsters are spawned throughout this amazing looking forest. Of course, these monsters are prefabs, assigned to spawn components. Now picture I have 30 levels with different environments, all that spawn different enemies. This game will take a fair amount of time to create. And during that process, a designer, artist, or somebody else might change one of the monsters. Now, they happen to decide to duplicate it, make their changes, and then delete the old one. Of course, they rename the new one with the original name. So all is good in the world, right? Well, of course, now the spawn point is sad that it's missing its reference, but my build process doesn't care. It piles through and spits a game out ready to go. Now, if your QA is on point, they might find this error as they're trawling through the game. You might also have the development build turned on and you'll be able to see the error. But if you're a small team or an open world or a very large game, you might actually miss this. So what can we do about it? Well, I'm gonna show you right now, otherwise this video would be fairly pointless. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the onValidate method into our spawn code. Now don't worry, I'm not just doing this, I'm gonna show you something really clever in a moment. Now, this onValidate will check the prefab exists, spitting out an error if it doesn't. Now, if you run a build, we'll get that error logged. We don't know which scene and the build still completes, but we still get that error. But let's go further. Introducing the little known interface, process scene with report, and the method in this interface called on process scene. What this handy interface does is it tells Unity, I want this method to be run for every scene when doing a build. And it also runs when we reload on entering editor play mode. Now we can hijack this for our build needs and let it tell us if a scene has changed from the previous build and fails the validation. So let's go through it. The callback order places priority with other process scene with report classes. And the on process scene is the method that's run. I've also added a catch to check that we are only doing this for the build, not running in the editor. Now for the validation, you could do a case by case approach, where for instance, you get all the spawn components in the scene using the scene root game objects and see if they're missing their assigned prefab, like you see here. We would then spit out that this scene has failed if that prefab doesn't exist. As you can now see, we have a log error for our scene whenever we come across our bad spawn point, which we can then track down in this beautiful forest by Nature Manufacturer. I'll put a link in the description. You can then extrapolate this to the hundred odd issues that could be wrong with your scene, creating methods for each one, like we did with our spawns. But let's instead make an interface called validate with the property is valid. We add this to our spawn and set it in the onValidate method from earlier. And we can replicate this across all the other components that might become invalid in our scenes over the process of building our game. So we have our validate interfaces implemented and we can now modify that on process scene to get that interface instead of doing the spawns. And then we check that interface's validity. Now, if we run our build, we can see our missing spawn and also a teleport component that is missing a destination. I gave the same treatment to it away from camera. Now, if you stayed this long into the video, here is a special bonus for all you great tools developers out there. At the moment, the whole build finishes, which is a valid option. You might want to see all the errors before going on bug hunts to fix them all and doing a new build. Or what if your build is really long and you want to cancel out the build mid process? You know, when you hit an error, not wanting to wait for the next 20 levels to finish. Well, according to several of the forums, you must quit out of Unity and start again. And to that I say, no, nah, I'm good. Let's do something clever. Instead, we're going to switch out from the debug log error to throw a new exception. And for good measure, we'll use Unity's build failed exception. Now our build quits out without having to build any of the other levels when it found that the monster scene was broken. 
Though, as I said, cancelling out partway through, it's dealer's choice. You might want to actually put in a flag to say whether this happens or not in your preferences. You know, weigh this up against your build times and the frequency you find errors like this. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. I have some additional bolt-on enhancements to this process that I can go through in another video, but I want to make sure it's something people are actually interested in. So make sure to also hit the like button if this video was interesting.